The following is taken from a book entitled Spiritual Awakening, Elder Paisios of Mount Athos, Spiritual Councils. The devout person will especially venerate the holy icons. And when we say he will venerate the holy icons, we mean he venerates the person depicted on the icon. When someone has a picture of his father, his mother, his grandfather or grandmother, his brother, he cannot possibly tear it or step on it. How much more must we venerate the icons of the saints? Jehovah's Witnesses have no icons. The honor we show to the icons they consider to be idolatry. I asked one of them once, Don't you have photographs in your homes? Yes, we do, he said. Well then, does a mother kiss the photograph of her child when that child is far away? Yes, she does, he said. Does she kiss the paper of the photograph or her child? I asked, and he replied, She kisses her child. Well then, just as she kisses her child when she kisses his photograph, we kiss Christ when we kiss his icon. We don't kiss the paper or the wood. When someone venerates the holy icons with devoutness and fervent love, he absorbs the colors from them and the saints are imprinted on his soul. The saints are pleased when they are lifted up from the paper or the wood and imprinted in people's hearts. When a Christian devoutly kisses the holy icons and prays for help from Christ, Panagia, the saints, he draws into his heart not only the grace of Christ, of Panagia, and of the saints, but also the whole of Christ, or of Panagia, or of a saint, and places them upon the iconostasis of his own temple. Your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. You see, every divine service begins and ends with the veneration of the holy icons. If people could understand this, they would feel such joy. They would receive so much power. The icon which is painted with devoutness draws the grace of God from the devout iconographer and then transmits the eternal consolation to the faithful. The iconographer is depicted, translated into the icon he makes, and for this reason, the iconographer's spiritual state is very important. Father Tikhon used to tell me, My son, when I paint the Epitaphios icon, I chant the hymn, The Noble Joseph, after taking down your sacred body from the cross, wrapped it in a clean shroud, and laid it in a new tomb. He used to chant as he shed tears, and his tears fell upon the icon. Such an icon preaches an eternal message to the faithful of the world. The holy icons preach eternally down through the centuries. One who is suffering will look upon an icon of Christ or of Panagia and directly receive consolation. The foundation is devoutness. You see, someone may lean against the wall where an icon has stood and he receives grace, while another may own the best icon but because he is not devout, receives no benefit. Or one may benefit from a simple wooden cross, while another who is not devout may not even benefit from the true precious cross itself.